Now with the research I've done to date, I actually haven't seen anyone skin an E-type door. I've seen a few examples of um, other door skins being put on some of the American muscle cars, but the E-type I've not been able to find uh, anything other than before and after. Now, I've done a lot of research, um, looked at the videos and information you can get from Monocoque, and um, that was very helpful in terms of how these uh, doors were originally put together. Uh, and that's helpful knowing that um, when you reskin a door, it uh, more than likely isn't going to fit the car. Um, the history of how they were done is that um, the car was um, um, modified in terms of lead loading to fit a door. So um, it's not a case of uh, when you've taken the old skin off and put a new skin on that it's actually going to go back and fit exactly the same. So um, I say Chuck Hadley goes into a lot of that, that history and he explains um, some of the modifications you, you might have to make to the door, the re-skin door, to make it fit the car. Um, particularly um, on the shut end here um, and also uh, more importantly where it more than likely isn't going to fit is around this area here which is where a lot of lead loading was done at the factory so uh, it's handy to know that um, when you're putting something together. Now I uh, <coughs> Also, I managed to get some information um, from uh, another person who actually has done this before, um, Dave at Classic Car Cave. Now, although he, well, I haven't seen a video of him doing it, he explained how he approached it, <coughs> and um, that was also helpful in terms of um, the sequence of where I might start when I might do the welding and so on. So um, his basic advice was to uh, start at the, the shut face here, um, then do the hinge, then the bottom, um, do whatever adjustments are necessary, and then leave the welding until last. So that was very helpful. And the reason he suggested that um, was that um, you might be able to make some minor adjustments if you actually don't weld uh, you know, parts of the frame to the, the skin until everything is uh, pretty well finalised. The other thing that um, Dave suggested was that uh, to use a um, door skin folding tool. Now he suggested one produced by uh, Frost. Unfortunately Frost doesn't deliver to Australia so I've got a Sealy version of that. So this is the folding folding tool, um, the flange folding tool. Now Dave suggested this as a means of avoiding damaging the skin. Now if you use a hammer and a dolly, you you do run the risk of uh, marking the, the skin. So he suggested uh, using one of these. So. This will be the first time I've used one, so I'm interested to see how that goes. So I've got that. I also uh, have a door skin hammer, which is this one, uh, another Sealy product. Uh, I probably will use this uh, mainly to start to get the flange to fold. Uh, I, I uh, possibly won't use it. Uh, to do the final finishing of the seam, I'll try and use the, the folding tool uh, with that and see how that goes uh, and hopefully that will, um, will suffice. So there the, and the dolly, if I do hammer, that dolly will be used under the skin.
I've also got a, <coughs> a rubber block I may use as well. I need to find that. The other bits and pieces I've got here, I obviously need to clamp. I'll be clamping uh, the shut face, the hinge end, and the bottom of the door. Uh, an initial clamp. And I've made some uh, metal to go between the, the skin and the clamp so I don't mark um, the skin. And I'll clamp that down. So I made those up. What else have I got? I think that's, um, that's all I'll use in terms of tools. What I now need to do is to... Sorry about the noise, there's an aircraft going over. The, uh, <coughs> I need to clamp it in place. Now, what I'll be doing is making sure that the, the frame is pushed as far forward until it touches the flange. So that's the hinge end, and also that the bottom, this bottom flange on the door frame, is up against the, the flange on the skin. So I need to get those two in proper alignment. Uh, I'll do that first, and I'll clamp the hinge end, then I'll clamp this, and then finally, uh, there's a little bit of movement in this, I'll um, get this in position and then clamp that. All right, I'll start to knock this down. The um, other thing I've been told is to don't try and flatten the flange down just in one area. Progressively do it all the way along um, and um, gradually fold that down. It's a bit like stretching metal. You don't sort of do it all in one spot. You uh, progressively do it all the way along. So. I'll be doing that, I'll do it here, then I'll start around here, and I'll have to move the clamp, and then fold this down in there, so I'll just uh, start. Right, that's down a fair way. I, I should be able to get this folding tool on. Now I'm not going to clamp it right down. I'm just going to take it down a little bit. not folded down tight. What I now need to do is to reverse the door and just clamp that back on. I'll just reverse the door and I'll do the other end the same.
lighting in here is not the best unfortunately um, and I can't get back far enough from the car because of uh, cramped conditions but the um, fit of the door is not too bad it may require a little bit of twisting later but the um, the gaps are reasonable at this stage up here I'm not worried about because that's uh, got to be welded and reshaped anyway um, the front is fitting reasonably well around here certainly along the bottom there uh, seems to be pretty good the top end here I knew that this wasn't going to fit very well so I've got work to do here but once again the, uh, the flange is not fully bent down so uh, I've got to do that a bit more and a little bit of reshaping up here the, um, that's just hitting the post there which it shouldn't be but um, there's a bit of excess metal here so I'm not worried about that either that can be, be trimmed back a bit later so what I might do now is to take the door off and start to crimp this flange down harder so uh, as I say the, the general shape appears to be right um, obviously I've still got more work to do but uh, there are no major issues at this stage now, the door has been taken off after an initial trial fit um, these are the flanges that you didn't see me completely fold over because of my uh, neglect of charging the battery on the camera the, uh, they're not folded completely flat they're probably better on, on the um, hinge and shut face and, and the bottom than they are on, on here these are they're nowhere near down so this was causing this part of the door to uh, not quite align now when I put the door up for trial fit this was um, just touching the windscreen pillar so there's excess metal here so I knew that um, so I'm not too worried about that at this stage uh, I'll try and get the the other flanges right first so what I'm going to do is to start to um, tighten these flanges up I'll use the folding tool for the most part but um, I'm not sure how that will will actually finish the flange these edges at the moment are, are too too fat so they're they're actually loose on the the inner frame um, I'm hoping that the folding tool will compress that to a nice neat thin edge if not I may have to go around with a hammer and dolly and, and just compress the edge to make it a nice sharp uh, sharp finish but um, I'll start with the folding tool so I'll uh, have to get the clamps back in place as I say there's still a bit of movement I can move this frame fractionally um, and I may just move it down a little bit and there's a little bit of movement I can get in that so I'll, I'll knock that down clamp it in place and then um, start to fold it down the fit around here I'm not worried about um, I'll get the door skin on the frame properly and then I'll look at how this fits against the body and then I'll shape this to fit so I'm not worried about this uh, that can actually be modified uh, as can the front if I need to so at this stage I'm not worried about those I'll try and get the main flanges uh, down right 
the um, edges here the metal had to be cut to try and get a better mitre there and also a bit of an open mitre um, what I'll do when this is clamped down and the door refitted again to make sure there's no twist in the door I'll be putting some braze in here brazing each end up but uh, at this stage that's uh, a fair way off so anyway I'll start to fold these flanges down with the folding tool and um, when I've got that down I'll do another trial fit to see how things are going now I've been able to fold this down with the folding tool the um, end result is it's a nice neat uh, fold I probably need to do a little bit more up in here um, it um, seems to work quite well but you need to keep going over the over the area again and again to, to fold it down more now it's about as far up as I can get it because of the change in angle of the uh, metal there so I've, I'll have to tap that down with a hammer but um, it seems to fold quite well at the end here I'll have to do that with a hammer it's um, it's bent up this way so I need to tap that down so that's I'll leave that for the moment but what I'll do now is I'll do the other side and um, I'll get it to this stage and then I'll do a when I've got all of the flanges this flange that flange the hinge flange and the top one when I've got them all to this stage I'll do another trial fit to see how it's going but um, this side this stage I'll just turn this around and I'll start to uh, fold it down to start again now I'll clamp this again in the center or close to the center what I want to be able to do is to start in the, the deepest part of the curve and uh, clamp that first that will then push the, the inner frame down to the skin so I need to get a clamp on here now what I'm doing is making sure this plastic is just level with the edge of the fold there if I push it in I may end up with a bit of a uh, an impression on the skin of the door so if I pull it back a bit it should prevent that Now, one thing I'd say about using this is that uh, if you've got arthritis in the thumbs like me, after a while it gets quite uh, uh, hard. Now, I'll do the bottom one. I won't film this because I'm going to run out of battery again. I'll put the uh, camera on charge so 
So I'll just go along the bottom. Same thing I've been doing. And clamping it as I go. And I'll start somewhere in the middle. Put a couple of clamps on. And then do the middle and then work out both ways. So I'll clamp this one down. And uh, I'll come back uh, when I've finished that and show the result. I must admit using this folding tool you, you feel a little bit more in control and uh, as long as you do it progressively so you work your way along and you go back and it seems to uh, on each pass you seem to be able to compress it just a little bit, bit further. This could probably go down a bit more but I'll I'll do a trial fit before I do that anymore. Um, this bit on the edge here where you get some natural folds, that's just done with the, the folding tool, that's come down nicely. It's come down nice here. On the ends here um, I'll have to use a hammer which uh, I've just got here now, hammer and die. Alright, it's now time to uh, try fit again and see how close I am. It's um, making it a little bit better fit than it was before, but uh, I'll just see. I've probably got a do a little bit more work on getting these down, these wings down a bit, which I'll work on, but um, let's see how it fits on the car. I've just done another trial fit of the, uh, the door and what I've um, found is a few areas of the door which are not um, I'll call it straight. Now starting at the top this area here this area was pushed out a bit this area is pushed down a bit so I've marked a section on the door that's got to come up um, there's a few other areas along the bottom. The corners in particular are down, so starting from there and it gradually goes down. So a little bit of a dip in there and this problem occurs on the other end of the door. Now what I think's happened is when I've used the folding tool, um, because of the design, I've put it under and I've cramped this tight, but what I've cramped tight that way, what I could have done when I've been doing that, because sometimes I use two hands, was to actually uh, force the, the panel up or down, as the case may be. Um, so maybe that was the result of using the tool not careful enough in the way I used it. So what I've got to do now is to actually correct it. Now I've been working along this top edge just with a, a dolly and a, and a slapper uh, pushing this down and using a straight edge to see how I'm going on that so uh, it's been coming down I've just got this little bit in the corner to do so I'll just continue with that
It's a bit of a slow process, but it's gradually coming up. So I'll continue that. And once I've adjusted these, I'll do another trial fit. I've made most of the adjustments that I needed to make, or that I'm prepared to make at this stage. Uh, reshaped it here, here. The gap at the front is about 5mm. Uh, may need a little bit of um, welding in here just to straighten the flange up there. Certainly will need a bit more around the top. I haven't welded this yet and don't intend to do it at this stage. The, uh, the rear I'll just put the uh, striker in the locking mechanism in. The rear here, I can probably take that gap up more, but um, I'm not going to worry about that at this stage because I haven't done the rear wing. I haven't welded this up yet and I won't do that at this stage either. So um, all in all, the fit now is pretty good. Let's so say the fit on here has to be finalised when that, this panel is done. The, um, the door hasn't been set yet, so it's only just had the, the flanges folded. I haven't um, spot welded these in yet, and I haven't set the bottom of the door um, on the corners. So. That still needs to be done, but that will wait at this stage until I've done the, um, as I say, the rear wing. And then I'll do the final finishing of the door uh, to the body. So at this stage I'm happy with it as it is. It, a um, little bit of a twist in the door there, which I'll have to take out, but as I say, not yet. It's. Uh, not time to do that yet, so the striker plate um, and all of that, had to make a few adjustments to that, uh, had to lift that a bit higher to get it to fit, but uh, it's now fitting quite well, so goes the two clicks, as I say I haven't worried about Keep pulling it out, it needs to be pulled out a little bit to be flush with the panel there. So not worried about that. I just want it to, uh, to stay on there so the door doesn't swing open. I'll leave the door mounted on here for the time being, mainly because uh, I really don't want it lying around the garage and getting kicked and knocked, so it'll be fine there out of the way. So uh, it's time to move to the other side of the car.